for, it looked like, um, you know, obviously maybe some of the, the technical stuff could always be better when you look at every game. But in, in terms of sort of attitude-wise, the offensive line had a kind of a nice chippy performance there to start the season. Other than maybe a couple things here and there, do you feel like the intensity was where you want it to be? Yeah, definitely. I think that's probably the biggest thing you look for in an early season game, you know, um, especially when the opponent probably isn't, you know, quite where you're used to as far as like SEC and everything. So you probably, you know, the biggest thing is you want to come out there ready to play, you know, show physicality and you can clean up the, the mental stuff on the back end. But what are your thoughts on Pittsburgh's front four, the front seven? What makes them so effective? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with where they're at. Um, you know, we kind of expected that. They've, they create disruption. That's their biggest thing. They've got a lot of guys that, you know, maybe aren't as, as big as, you know, we're used to. But, you know, they're, they're difference makers and they create a lot of, you know, chaos in the backfield and, you know, trying to get upfield vertical, get, get kind of take your space. So they're really athletic. They can kind of make, make plays with their athleticism and that, you know, that's what gives people struggles. Last year you didn't play because you were hurt. And if I remember correctly, Cade got hurt on the second drive or something along those lines and didn't play a good chunk of the game. Just how motivated are you uh, to be able to play in this game after, after last year you not being able to play? Yeah, I, I would say I'm, I'm really excited. It's going to be a really good test for us. Like I said, they, uh, they're a pretty athletic group. You know, I kind of pride myself on being, you know, pretty athletic too. So um, I'm excited to see the challenge. They got a lot of good guys. Hey, Cooper, back here. Uh, on the Jabari small touchdown, obviously Jabari's got strong legs and he was driving the whole way. But how fun is it for you guys up front to get to kind of get the assist like that? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, our, our coaches preach that kind of thing. It's, it's kind of something you're taught ever since you, you know, grow up that if the ball's up and, you know, the, the running back's going, you got to go there, protect them, you know, any ball carrier. So, you know, I think it's, I think it's a good sign of, you know, where our minds were at, you know, show that we, we wanted to play physical and everything. So I, I enjoyed looking at it on film. Cooper, we talked to Jerome yesterday. He was talking about some of the things that Pitt does on, on third down, disguise and all that stuff, bring a lot of different things. How much have you delved into that, and, and how true is that, and how, how prepared do you guys have to be for anything that might, they might throw at you? Yeah, uh, extremely prepared. You know, every time you, you play an opponent that, that is as good as they are on defense, you got to be extremely prepared. Helps us a little bit because we went against them last year. They returned a lot of their guys. So, um, you know, just trying to do the same thing that we did last year, but, you know, be better at it. What's your sort of comfort right now with sort of directing traffic on the road in a game like that? I know y'all want to go so fast and, and playing on the road can can be a challenge at times offensively. How do you feel like you're prepared for that? Uh, I'm, I'm very prepared. You know, I, I, I finished out the, the year with a lot of away games last year in some pretty big environments. I played against Florida, Alabama, you know, Kentucky on the road and some, and some pretty hard games. So, you know, I think we're prepared. I think we're very prepared. Uh, Cooper Pitt likes to stop the run. They focus on that. They also will bring an extra person in the box to stop it. Right. How do you counter that? Um, that? That's you know that's probably a big thing for the coaches. They're gonna they're gonna be the ones to figure that out. We just do what we're told. You know, block the guys we're told to block for sure. Patrick. Cooper, what was your thoughts on, on Darnell drawing that penalty the other night? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm right there with Jerome. I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. You know, our coaches kind of preach on everything. You know, whenever there's like a scuffle or anything in practice, you know, they always talk about, you know, they catch they catch the guy doing the punches. So you never want to be that guy throwing the punch. So it's pretty good to draw that out of them.